What is going on everyone? This is Nier again. And today I have for you the uh, first episode of Moab Friday. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of Moabs here at Team SP and I want to show them all to you. But to do all of the, every Moab that we have and to uh, post them only once a week, that would take about five months. And you know, during those five months, of course, we're probably going to get more Moabs. So then it would just be a never-ending cycle. So I figured I'd be posting uh, Moabs to you guys twice a week. And uh, today we're going to be bringing you a one with uh, Domination here on C-Town featuring SP Deadly. Now he's using... Uh, by far one of the best guns in the game, the MP7, and uh, in my eyes, the MP7 is more or less balanced for the sole fact that it's a submachine gun. Now, there's actually a kind of a controversy of whether or not uh, the, M or the MP7 is actually overpowered, but in my eyes, it's a submachine gun, and uh, the Type 9.5 will still outgun it, so therefore, it's not that overpowered. So, he's using extended mags and a silencer with a two attachment proficiency, and uh, believe it or not, this was done without specialists. This was actually done using the... Uh, uh, support kill streaks, whereas uh, in SB we a lot of us actually do run the support kill streaks uh, rather than the assault or the um, or the specialist kill streaks. Like well, like I said in the, in the last Moab video, it, it definitely is very very beneficial for you guys to run specialists when you're going for a Moab. Uh, the Moab is very easily attainable. I guess I shouldn't say that because it's not easily attainable in any way, shape, or form. But it is, uh, it's more easily attainable. How about that? When you're using the specialist kill streaks, just because with the specialist kill streaks, once you get your uh, specialist bonus, you get every proficiency allowed for that gun, include uh, or allowed for in general, except for the damage proficiency, I believe. So when uh, let's say, for example, for all intents and purposes, uh, he were using specialist. He would have the range proficiency on his MP7. He would also have the speed proficiency on his MP7. He would have kick. He would have sway. He would have um, he would have everything, and he as well as all the perks that he has as well. So, like I said, uh, definitely beneficial for you guys if you're going to be going for a Moab to use a specialist uh, kill streaks, but or a specialist package. Way rather, but um, apparently that's not the case in this video. We are using support, and uh, he. Is, when you're playing Domination on Seatown, I usually like to uh, give tips or towards uh, how to get the Moabs on the map. And uh, generally, you're gonna want to kind of look at the gameplay and uh, look what he's doing, and kind of apply that to your own playstyle if that makes sense. Uh, we have found that when we play, we play a lot of ground war, mind you. We play uh, mainly Domination and ground war. It depends on how many people are in our party. If we have six or under, we play Domination. If we have more than that, ground war. Kind of basic stuff, really. But uh, we have found that Domination in Seatown, uh, it's best to give them the Sea Flag. When they have the Sea Flag, they will spawn generally one of two spots. Um, I'm going to wait for him to turn around here. Right there. Now, uh, where he's looking, right, right to the top of the map, to the top left, and to the top right of the map are the two spawns that they're generally going to take. If you look at the map right there again, uh, they're going to spawn to the top right in what I call like a market style area. And then to the left over here, it's more of a, just a big open uh, just a big open alleyway, really. And those are generally the two spawn points. And you kind of stick uh, within this alleyway. Uh, you can fall back here to, towards B just to make sure the flag's where they need to be. But uh, generally, they're going to stay in there. And if you don't push up too far, they will stay back trapped at the C flag. Every now and again, uh, <laughs> your teammates will get overzealous and uh, just go capture a flag just because the other team is simply not defending it. And you really got to look out for that. When you're going for Moabs, you should definitely uh, communicate with your team, hey, I'm on a high kill streak. And I was actually in this match, believe it or not. And uh, Deadly did not tell anybody that he was going for the Moab or he was even on a Moab style streak. <laughs> until I, uh, hey guys, I have a Moab, oop, and he calls it in. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. So if he would have told us, hey, um, I'm on a Moab style streak, uh, you guys should uh, push back a little bit so we can kind of keep them contained there at sea. We definitely wouldn't have came up and captured the sea flag. But uh, right now, we just they were, the enemy team just captured the sea flag back, so he's going to run on back. And uh, <laughs> another thing about Moabs, guys, uh, it does take a lot of gun skill, especially... Uh, gun skill with a variety of weapons. If you guys see here, he's used about three different guns so far to get kills, and he's picked up his second version of the CM9 here, the second CM9 or CM901 that he's actually picked up. So you are going to be picking up a lot of weapons and know how to use those weapons. Notice how he's kind of switching out between the sniper and the CM9 right here. That's definitely beneficial when you guys are uh, yeah, trying to keep your kill streak. Uh, don't try. If you pick up a sniper when you're on a kill streak, don't go around trying to grizz, grizz scope people. Just pay attention, and you will. Um, um, you'll definitely be on a better path. But uh, Bake just captured the sea flag right there, so now he's very weary because when you're playing Sea Town, when they're spawning on the ace flag, they're generally going to spawn one of two places. They're going to spawn back where Deadly was just at inside that tower or back towards that red building where he was just at. 
but I guess that's all relevant now because they actually just captured a C flag back. But those are tips for you uh, when the enemy team has the A flag, or at least when they're spawning near the A flag. And ooh, Bake just got a triple C4 in the kill feed. I don't know if you guys realize that. But uh, those are generally my tip swords if the enemy team has A, or at least are spawning towards the A flag. They're going to spawn in that tower that he's shooting at right now, or he's going, or they're going to spawn in that red building. There's basically two spawn points for each back flag on this map. But right now they have the A flag and the C flag, so they're, they're, they're definitely going to have Sprawdic spawning. And right, ooh, right there, that would have freaked me out if I was uh, the one going for the Moab, just because. <laughs> oh man, just someone coming up from behind like that, and they have the, uh, the high ground on you, that, that would just be rough, I would not enjoy that at all. He's going to look down towards that spawn point and try and pick off another one, but there was no one there. He's going to run around, and this is, this is a crucial part, because he's very close, he's very, very close right now. And uh, now we got the A flag back, so they're going to be spawning down here where he's looking. And, oh, there's one, he's getting close boys, he's getting close. Where is they at? Where are they at? There, you see one in the alleyway up here, he's going to move up towards him. Oh, lag, lag, lag. Disconnected from Xbox Live! Ha ha! Can you guys believe this? Right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle of doing a Moab Friday, I get an update for the Xbox. Are you, are you serious? It's gonna disconnect me from Xbox Live and give me an update? <laughs> Oh man, is that not the biggest epic fail I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> Can you guys believe that? If you're right in the middle of a gameplay commentary, I'm recording this out, remind you, I'm recording this live out of theater mode, out of uh, Deadly Theater, and uh, <laughs> I got an Xbox Live update right in the middle of it. So I thought that was kind of funny, so I thought I'd include that in the video for you guys. But I rewind it just a little bit here so you guys actually can know uh, where we're at. But like I said, he's pretty close right now, he's very, very close. And uh, we're gonna move forward. He sees a guy in the alleyway. He's gonna move up. He's gonna move up. See if he can get this guy out of the alley. Where is he at? Where? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, looks like the teammate got him. So right now he's gotta be freaking out. I mean, if any of you have gotten a Moab at this point, you're just freaking out. You really don't know what to do. You're scared. You're you know, moving is just freaky. He's gonna move up to the spot on the stairs here where I got my Moab, but apparently no one's here. So he's just gonna slowly move around. He's gonna pull out the sniper. And like I said, guys, know your weapons. The fact he has a sniper as a secondary to look over towards the red building, that definitely helped a lot. Uh, if anything, more or less, it was just uh, easing his mind whether or not uh, there's going to be people coming at him from the red building, which would freak me out because so many times I've been on a high kill streak, then randomly the spawns changed, and I wasn't, just simply wasn't paying attention and ended up losing because of it. Oh, he's going to miss the shot. See, I <laughs> oh, there he gets it. See, at this right there, right there, guys. See, I would not have the composure at all because my heart starts pounding when I'm going for a battle, band, especially when I'm this close. And the fact that he's even attempting to use a sniper, <laughs> oh man, oh man, I could definitely not do this. But kudos to him. And there it is, boys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. There is your Moab here on Sea Town by SB Deadly. We're gonna call it in. He's gonna pick up Trigger. Oh, Trigger joined session. What a homo. <laughs> You're gonna pick up a final kill and then uh, the Moab's probably gonna come in. Look at the slow mo. The beauty, the beauty of the Moab. I mean, I talk about this every Moab video, but just look at how, how everything gets smoked out. You can't see a damn thing for a short period of time, and then you can uh, just run around for a little bit. But since this gameplay is almost towards an end, I'm just gonna let it roll until the end of the game. And there's Russia stealing my triple. If you guys remember, you guys, you guys will definitely be able to see it by the final score. But I actually did use this gameplay uh, as a, I did use this gameplay as a commentary because I just happen to do pretty well in this match as well. So uh, if you guys remember, look back. I'm actually gonna put a link to a commentary I did over this gameplay f from my point of view and uh, so you guys maybe enjoy that in case you just missed it but uh, we beat them 288 a pretty hefty victory we were definitely controlling the spawns the entire time and uh, basically uh, playing on our terms basically making the enemy uh, come to us and uh, uh, basically staying in control this entire match when people's gonna pick up the final kill there with uh, the Kimbo overpowered guns and see me up there 43 and 5 so this was a gameplay commentary uh, I do remember this and um, Deadly way down here at 6th place with 32 and 2, but he does get the Moab, so therefore he trumps me and gets a better gameplay than me just because he had a Moab. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. This was uh, Moab Friday, and if you did, please remember to rate the video, and I hope you guys all have a great day.